Okay, so um, now let's move to um, the next one. So in the first video, we've talked until the general allocation fund, right? So it has been, you know, it can be resumed that the general allocation fund is actually use the same formula for all region, like developed area, developing area, and also undeveloped area. So, um, also kind of the region like um, outside Java and Madura. So the arrangement um, probably sometimes feel unfair. But concerning this, the, the arrangement of the general allocation fund got used the same formula for all advanced developed and also undeveloped region. Okay. Um, okay, so, you know, the Sometimes there is a different population, right, between the Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and another region. So, as appropriate, the developed and undeveloped region receive the priority and attention from government. So, the purpose of the general allocation fund uh, is intended to the equitable development and reducing gap. It really realized. It can be realized, in, in, uh, you know, yeah, uh, in the real time situation also. Um, this jump into the specific allocation fund. So this is part of the balance fund that stipulated in the law number 33 from year 2004 concerning financial balance between the central and regional government. Um, so it funded originating from the state budget revenue that allocated to the certain regions in order to giving fee on the special activities as a regional affairs and also accordant with the national priority. So the special activities stipulated by the government actually accentuate activities and also procurement activities, upgrading and also physical activities and also related to the infrastructure, basic surface, um, you know, um, yeah. Uh, and the certain region that meet the criteria assigned each year to obtain the special allocation fund. It's public services, security, economy, environment, housing, and public facilities, health and social tourism. So the area that can get this fund is actually have to meet the criteria, like the general, specific, and technical criteria that has been proposed in the program. So, um, the general criteria is actually uh, formulated based on the regional financial capacity that reflected in the general revenue of the regional budget, right? So um, let me just move to the whiteboard. Um, okay, here. All right, so um, the general criteria is, um, okay. So this is a general criteria that has been formulated based on the regional financial capacity that reflect the general revenue of the regional budget after subtracting subtracting the it's ten hours CFL suffering expenditures, and there is also a special criteria that formulated through the territorial index by the Minister of Finance, and also considering the input from the State Minister of National Development Planning and related to the Minister leaders in technical criteria. Right, so the technical criteria is actually. Um, you know, based on the technical indicators of the Alpha Minister. Okay, so um, so it means that in the estimation of this specific allocation is carried out through the two stage. The first one is determination of the certain area that received the special fund. The second one is determination of the amount of special allocation fund for each region. Okay. So the next one is about the revenue sharing fund from the receipt of land and building taxes and fees for acquisition of land and building right and also receipt from the natural resources. So the state revenue from land and building taxes divided by a 10% balance of the central government, 90% for the region. State revenue from the acquisition of land and building range around 20 until uh, 80 for the region and 20% for the central. And with the state revenue from the natural resources of the forestry sector, the general mining sector, and also fishery sectors, divided by 20% uh, for the central government and 80% for the local government. Okay.
So based on this portion, um, we can see that the sectors with the high economic value was precisely opposite uh, for the large center and the small area, like a state revenue from the natural resources in the oil and gas. Um, it's actually also divided between the state income from petroleum mining after reducting the tax component. You know, it's divided into 85% for the central, 15% for regional you know, development. And also the state income from natural gas mining comes from the regional area. After deducting the tax component, it's applicable 70% balance of the central government and 30% for the regional government, right? So that was kind of the portion between that. So um, it means that we can see that there is a profit sharing between um, the source of income and another. It will uh, show that there is you know, uh, inequality probably can happen in the regional revenue. We give the benefit to the certain region only. So for the region that have the natural resources like mining, you know, um, will be got a source of income biggest uh, from the other. Like it means that the development region that's seen from the human resources, the government administration or social community and infrastructure are still lacking, you know, masih kurang. okay? Um, all right, so um, it means that we can conclude that the formulation of the balance fund between the central and regional government that has been effective so far uh, has not reflected the sense of justice. So it means that can inhibit the occurrence of even distribution between the regions. So the formulation can be changed like the formula of the revenue sharing fund, okay? And also based on the fact of the region that produced natural resources, um, and also based on the consideration like there is a development of inequality to get the larger fund managed by the local government. So region will be more aware what condition and needs are required. So the fund management can be more effective and efficient also. All right, guys. So the formulation of the criteria based on, um, sorry, um, the criteria uh, for the region that can be obtained special allocation fund all right so um it be you know it, it can be concluded that um in the in the general allocation fund there are several you know um part that they've been discussed before like um start from decentralization also the regulation related to the balancing fund uh, mm -hmm. divided into general allocation fund special allocation fund and also revenue sharing fund all right so okay thank you so much everyone um for today's meeting so we wrapped up about the financial central and also regional relations um in the government enforcement of indonesia so i think i have another um, you know, additional material that you can read. I'm going to share it to, to Ireland. Thank you very much. Um, so, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.